Hey guys. So I'm holding my phone with my hand. So because I left my camera holder or phone holder out in the cabin, which I still need to do a video about. But I just wanted to do a, a quick video because I'm a little concerned about the country's food supply. Um, I'm looking at my laptop and I'm reading a, a lot of different articles. Now I might have missed some things, but right now I'm reading that we have an aluminum can shortage. So anything that you buy in an aluminum can um, may not be available soon un unless the shortage is resolved or uh, obviously if there's a shortage the prices are going to go up. So that's a little um, concerning. Then of course all the corn and soy we're now going into a shortage for because of, you know, poor Iowa got slammed. And corn and soy are in, I'm, I'm going to do a guesstimate of about 90%. It's in food, it's in pet products, it's in feed, in the forms of, you know, corn syrup, citric acid, vitamin E things like that. So some suppliers are going to have a shortage of those ingredients. And then you've got meat producers who are not working, who are not, um, or not working at full capacity. You have uh, China, their main agricultural area was flooded. So now all that product was destroyed. And so now it, there's also a rice shortage going on. And I just tried to find canning supplies. Um, I'm gonna move my leg. Uh, I just tried to find canning supplies because I realized I didn't have enough for a fall garden that I want to grow. And I can't find any. Um, I asked my son to check where he works and he managed to find two cases, um, two 12 packs of ball canning jars, but we're having issues finding lids and so forth. I did manage to find some lids online, but that was after quite a bit of searching and I've never had issues getting canning jars or canning supplies before. Um, garden supplies I'm having an issue finding and you know seed companies are having some issues not all seed companies but some are having issues keeping seeds in stock medication suppliers from China and the United States are not Processing, they're not making enough and making as much medication as they normally do. Um, I had a prescription left over. It's something that I, I take, but it was for um, one of my thyroid medications. And I went ahead and got it filled, even though I'm not technically taking that one anymore because I want to have some extra on hand. And it was a completely different type from what they gave me before. And I asked why, and they said they, they couldn't get the other one in stock. So if you can get um, any additional medi medications done, with the virus going around, you could probably use that as an excuse. Tell your doctor that you just want a lot of medication on hand so you don't have to go out in public as much. Um, of course that won't work with some um, tightly controlled medications. You usually can't get more than a 30 day supply. So you know do what you can or look into maybe natural alternatives. Uh, Lebanon 
that whole Beirut explosion, they lost a good portion of their grain. And then of course we still got the coin shortage going and some places won't even take cash and then other places might take cash but they're not giving you change. Now around here we have not gotten much rain this summer at all. So I have a feeling there's going to be a hay shortage which of course is going to drive the cost of hay up and I have livestock so I'm already starting to get hay and try to stock as much as I can before winter hits and the prices got, go up. Um, so all of this is a bit concerning and I'm going to suggest to anyone who sees this that pay attention to the food supply, pay attention to what's going on. Um, I know it's kind of depressing to do it, but you really do need to keep an eye on things. Uh, if you can garden, garden, if you can find seeds, um, even if it's a container garden on a patio or whatever, uh, an herb garden, uh, sprouts, sprouts is something you can do on your kitchen counter and they're very nutritious. So look at sprouting. Um, Think of alternatives to things that you normally eat or drink or anything medication wise. Find a local herbalist if possible to help you with dietary changes and what herbals can you can take to, to help offset any bad effects if you can't get your medication. And I would seriously do as much as you can before fall because I, I was kind of hoping and praying it would get better but I don't think it's going to um, I mean I could be wrong I hope I'm wrong I pray I'm wrong but it's entirely possible that we can go on a complete and total lockdown in the fall and I would really really recommend that everybody go out um, you know or at least buy a little bit extra every time you go shopping because I know finances are really tight for so many people right now um, do what you can visit food banks try to get extra stocked up because um, if we go into lockdown you're gonna want to have whatever you need to make it through that in at least a semi comfortable manner so, um, yeah, I'm a little concerned, but we'll see what happens. Just get what you can, dry goods, rice, canned items, so forth, medication, you know, so forth and so on. There's a bunch of videos out. Um, I don't know if people are really interested in the, yeah, well, I'm just going to leave it there for right now, but you guys have a great day and we will talk to you later.